Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. going to be the four card oracle you pick with a diet across finish at the end so four cards think about it pick one two three or four or all of them or some of them or two of them or three of them whatever you want pick some cards take a deep breath and uh, let's get started so this impressionist tarot these cards are everything that i've ever wanted in a set of cards except for the quality and i'll tell you what i mean the um, box is fantastic. It's a beautiful box. If you gave this as a gift or if you got it as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, somebody really put some thought into what they were uh, giving me. And the guidebook is very useful. It's a full color guidebook with very thoughtful uh, ideas as to the divination of the cards. And uh, the, uh, the creators of this are Corrine Kenner and the artwork by Arturo Pica. And so what they've done is they've actually taken impressionists um, that you will know of and uh, and that you will see art in galleries and um, and use their art to make these cards. And, and so what they've, they've taken the actual artwork um, and sometimes uh, Arturo Pica has added elements to the original art to help in the divination, or he may have blended a couple of uh, pieces of art uh, from one or two or uh, artists to uh, get to this, uh, this work here. But they're gorgeous to use, I love them. And uh, I feel like this is just a good way to get the cards mixed up without creating too much damage to them. I mean, some folks like to kind of really handle the cards and bend them and break them in, to uh, make them theirs. That's just not what I like to do. Uh, nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do. But uh, this impression is tarot. I'm so happy with these cards. Okay, here we go. We're going to get some divination going on today. This is a four-card oracle. So it's going to be one, two, three, four cards. They're going to be yes, no answers. Could be a maybe. And uh, and then once we have that, if that's all you need, shoot, turn off the tape and go uh, get yourself an ice cream cone. But if you want more, just watch and we'll do a diet across um, finish on each of those four uh, cards. And if you watch me, you know what's coming. So here we go. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Clear your mind. And now's the time. To start to you know put your question out there into the universe, whatever it is that's worrying you, um, you know think about it. If you need to say it out loud, say it out loud, and um, and let's see if you and I can't get some energy together and uh, come to an agreement on uh, what these cards mean. So think about your question. Four cards. I'm going to divide these into four stacks, as a matter of fact. Spread them out, and we'll take four of these right now for the uh, oracle part of this. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, we're going to set these right here for a minute while we decide which cards or card or cards we're going to pick. So we've got one, two, three, four. I love the back of these cards. They look like the backs of paintings. Isn't that cool? One, two, three, four. You can stop the tape if you need to. Take a minute and decide what card or cards you like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So we'll put these up here. Put turn this one over. So this is the ten of pentacles, and you can see that because these are the pentacles right here. So the Ten of Pentacles is uh, happy family. It's familiar wealth, familial wealth. I mean, it's everything good. Um, I'm not sure uh, how uh, these uh, fellas riding on a horse uh, under a bridge uh, makes this uh, a wealthy card, but uh, let's save it for later. But the Ten of uh, Pentacles, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten of Pentacles. Big uh, yes card. That's nice, um, nice omen there. Big yes card. Now, if you pick number two, it's this one right here, and this is going to be the ten, oh, just the ten card. So this is the um, Wheel of Fortune. So this is the Major Arcana right here, Wheel of Fortune. So for me, it's right in the middle of the uh, Fool's Journey from 0 to 21, and this tells me that uh, we're in 
the in we're in the race right now, and how it comes out is is determined upon uh, how you finish uh, this last leg. So the wheels are turning. I always like to say this is always in a positive direction, and I love these cards because you know some of the cards depict a little devil on the end of the wheel or some other ominous thing. But no, this is just a horse race right here. So we're halfway through it. We're almost there. Ten card, another big yes. Major Arcana, very good. If you chose number three. Okay, this is the Strength card, another Major Arcana card. This is another big yes. So um, I love the way this is depicted with this uh, this really lovely maiden just uh, sitting next to this fierce lion. She's got him completely tamed with her hand on his on his snout there. And uh, this is a big yes card if you chose uh, number three. The final card, if you pick number four, let's see what we got here. And this is the Ten of Swords right here, the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords is usually depicted by a guy with ten swords in his back. This fella is taking a rest, and he's in, uh, you know, it's a perilous situation. He's got all these swords all around him, and uh, so this usually portends the end of a cycle. And we can see that this fella has probably been working all day, working with the hay, and he's taking a break. This is the end of his day. Look how dark it's getting out here. And so we're getting ready to start a new cycle right, right after this. So this, for me, is a no card. Okay, so right, yes, 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 and no. So now we're going to turn these over, think about what your questions were, and see how those answers apply to it. And then right now, I'm going to give this a couple of uh, shuffles, probably we'll cut them, and then we'll get right into the divination for this Ten of Pentacles. You know, uh, happy family, familial wealth, everything good. Things are working out the way they should have, or the way you wanted them to, or, or maybe that's just the way it's always been for your family. Let's cut them and spread them out. We're going to pick five cards to finish this dyadic cross. So we got one, we have two, we have three, here's four, and the last card right here is five. And so let's get going on this divination. One, two, three, four, five. Get them looking nice here, put them down. Signifier card, signifier card, Ten of Pentacles, everything good. What's the challenge to that? Big yes card. So this is the Emperor. This is the four, the number four of the Major Arcana. And the uh, the Emperor is very much in charge of uh, what's happening in his world. He's the fellow with all the answers. He's the see-all, know-all, do-all. We're going to do what the Emperor says. So we've got happy family here, but it looks like we've got someone here who's saying, look, things may be going great for you, but there's just a little bit more that we have to do. Okay, the ten card is towards the end of the cycle. So usually when you get to ten, then you're going to start over into the, of course, the roll suite, or this is the beginning of a new cycle here. And this new cycle uh, is going to be somewhat of a challenge because there's a lot of authority, there's a lot of um, uh, abundance uh, coming up here. The base of this reading then was the end of a cycle. I was just saying that. So this is the uh, twenty-one of the major arcana. Love, love, love this Eiffel Tower, and look how it's just swept up in the emotion of the day right here and um you know i've been i've been here several times and if you if and, and it's a beautiful scenario and it's lovely to look down here in this picture and see these folks in this old time uh dress here and know that you can go there right now and there's folks in in shorts and t-shirts and on their um uh, skateboards and uh, it's just always been a great uh, way to end your day if you happen to be on vacation. So this is the end of a cycle. That's where we were at. And uh, and then we started anew. In the past of this reading then is the Fool. Man, this is all about uh, cycles today for the, for you. Uh, so the Fool is the beginning of a journey, okay? And we can see this fella, he's on the beginning of his journey. He's trying to walk down this, this, this lovely um, uh, wall here and um, he's doing pretty well if he falls to this way he's got a bit of a fall uh, ahead of him if he falls this way he's right into the flower bed so he's not gonna get hurt but listen we never want to fall off of our path we always want to stay on the path and keep going so in the past we had the beginning of a journey so this is all about cycles for you it's all about cycles for you in the sky of this reading then is the two of wands and the two of wands is planning It's short-term planning It's kind of deciding what are we going to do today you know let's uh let's go out and have a, a breakfast or let's have brunch and then we'll plan the rest of the day after that so this is short-term planning let's make some nice plans and this this uh person is well prepared she has a parasol and some and uh, presumably an umbrella so she's ready for whatever uh happens in this day okay 
But now the likely outcome for all of this uh, is then the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is beautiful. I mean, look at this Queen of Cups. She, she decided to pick up that uh, parasol and venture out into the day. She's got a nice uh, uh, soothing uh, cup of presumably something nice and cool to uh, nourish her on this beautiful bright day. And so everything, it looks to me, is going to come out uh, roses uh, for you in this decision. Just understand that this is all about cycles for you. This is the towards the end of a cycle, a lot, lot of empowerment. We finished up. We started off again. We prepared ourselves for what was going to come. And then uh, it all uh, ends up uh, perfectly well. Okay. As a matter of fact, extremely well. So this was a lovely reading for you today. That's the number one card off to the side. If we chose number two, then we've got the, the uh, Wheel of Fortune. And what better way to depict a Wheel of Fortune than a horse race? Uh, Queen Elizabeth would love to see that, wouldn't she? I wonder if she's rooting for that horse to come in to come in uh, first there. Of course she is. So we're going to give these cards a little bit of shuffle, two or three of them. Uh, we'll cut the cards, we'll spread them out, and we'll see what more we can tell you about this, this uh, Wheel of Fortune for you. Let's cut them. And spread the cards out. We're going to need five of these again. So we'll take one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Put this over here to work on those two and get ready to see what's the challenge to this Wheel of Fortune, this signifier card, this big yes card for you. The challenge to this uh, Wheel of Fortune, this cycle uh, continuing, is going to be the eight, number eight card. What is the number eight? I always, uh, let me think about this for a minute. I'm going to have to look at it. I won't remember because I'm trying to think about it too much. So I'm going to use my cheat sheet, and i got to count down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chariot? That's not the chariot. We're going to look at that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is a chariot. Direction, determination, control, balance, victory, aggression, travel. Travel. It's exactly what we're talking about here. Why didn't it occur to me? We've got a wheel. We've got travel. So the uh, challenge to uh, finishing this race is uh, is 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 the race itself. Is the the race itself. So whatever whatever uh, uh, wheel you're on, um, it may seem like uh, you want to stop, but no, just keep on going because you're just almost you know you're you're halfway there. The uh, base of this reading then. Is going to be the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a great big uh, offer. You know, Swords of me are truth and justice. That's the major thing I take out of this. Can be health, but uh, uh, tr and, and Swords represent air. So the Ace of Swords is telling you, listen, this is what we started with. This is the base of this. We have a big truth. We have a lot of justice. We have some rules. We have some regulations. You need to take all of this into consideration uh, when you're getting into this uh, race. And the past of this reading then is the Knight of Swords. And uh, this Knight of Swords is a somewhat unassuming knight. I mean, but he's prepared for what uh, may come his way. And he's got a very determined look on his face. He's looking over his shoulder as if to say, look, I'm headed off. I'm watching you. I know what's going on. And just like this uh, racehorse right here, looking over his shoulder to see where the uh, competitor is. Uh, so this Knight of Swords is, swords of, is looking over his shoulder and saying, I'm going to win. That's you. That's you. Okay. Now in the sky of this reading, is the uh, Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands uh, talks, uh, speaks to us about having to overcome some obstacles, having to work our way around uh, some somebody some somebody else's plans, perhaps, or uh, some embattlements uh, that you have. It's completely doable. It's a little more uh, circuitous. It's a little more uh, difficult because it's not a straight path, but we can see where we need to be, and we know that we can get there. Okay? Just keep on Keep on going. You can see where you need to be, and you know that you can get there. Okay? And then the um, final outcome for this is going to be uh, the 19. What is 19? Oh, the sun, of course. It always throws me off because I, I this is a setting sun here, which is uh, fitting because we're coming towards the end of a cycle with 19. You have 20 and 21 are the final cards of the Major Arcana. And uh, this is clarity. You know, this is uh, success. This is uh, revelation, enlightenment. So... I love that this, this this pair has come to this point together, okay? So consider that in your journey, your question that you asked today. So we're, we're in the middle of a race. We, can, we know how we have to get there. We came in this with truth and justice. We're looking at our competitors. We see that it's a little more circuitous than we wanted it to be. 
But look, we're going to make it to the end of the day, and tomorrow's another day. So this is a nice big yes card with lots of encouragement, as a matter of fact. So there we are there. The next card is going to be Strength. Let me put these cards back in here, and I have to remember that there were five, and so I want to incorporate these five back into that pack. Strength is you, okay? That's what you have. This is the signifier. Whatever you ask, this is a big yes question. This is a big strong yes. And uh, this is empowering you to know that you can tame this beast that's bothering you, okay? And you don't have to force it into uh, into uh, your way of thinking. Um, you just have to gently coax the, um, the encouragement, uh, the direction that you want. So we're going to take five cards out of here. This is one two, three, four, All right, here's five, we'll take those. We're gonna stick these over here to just work on that last card. So strength is a signifier. If you got uh, this card, you got a big yes, it's a huge yes, and it's very much in your favor. But the challenge to this, the challenge to this is the seven of pentacles. You know, the seven, seven of pentacles is wondering, did I do enough? We can see the pentacles here in these flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I do enough? Did I get everything out? Did I get this uh, presented in the way that it needs to be? Is there something more uh, I can do? So, and you don't want to, you know, if you if you, when you're taking care of your your hair, if you're a woman that's watching, uh, well, even men too. If you're taking care, you know, you, you don't want to rip that comb through your hair. You don't want to rip that brush through your hair. You want to take it through, work work the tangles out, and uh, and consider. Uh, if, if this is uh, everything that you need to do or if you've done enough now. The basis of this reading then, again, I love it when the cards repeat because for me, that tells me that they recognize that I'm here. They're working with me and they want to show me, hey, I, I know you're here. I'm going to show you that, that I know you're here. So this uh, fool is the beginning of a journey. And just like I said, uh, once you're balancing on that journey, you want to make sure that you keep your balance. You know, if you start to go one way a little bit too much, you want to stop, get your balance again, and then work your way uh, on down to the end. So it's the beginning of a journey. You've, you've got everything you need to get there. You just need to have patience to uh, get there in a safe way. Big yes card. Uh, in the past of this reading is the hanged man. So the hanged man tells us that, um, is it the hanged man? Let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that right? So 10, 11, 12. I'm counting in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Justice. That doesn't seem right to me. Karmic balancing, truth, law, verdict. Um, you know, if justice is justice, it's not the hanged man. What is the hanged man in, in this um, in, in, in this arcana? I tell you, this is really throwing me for a loop. I don't, I don't trust my judgment on that. I'm going to get the book out here and make sure that I'm giving you a correct interpretation. I don't just want to jump into something without knowing that I'm telling you uh, what's uh, honest and true. Uh, and this is Illumination. Yeah, it is the Hangman. I knew it was. Okay, the Hangman. I wonder why this didn't work for me over here. But uh, the Hangman. Okay, good. Glad I looked it up. So I was right course. Uh, so the hangman is looking at some, this is in your, in your recent past, looking at something from a different perspective. Look at that reflection in the water. Understand uh, that sometimes um, if we, it's like, it's like me looking in this darn camera. If I, if I go for my first instinct, I pointed to the wrong way, but I realize I need to adjust and understand what I'm looking at from another perspective. And the same thing is what you have to do before you jump ahead with, with whatever your choice is. Okay. Before you take that next step, you know, make sure that you understand the environment that you're in. Okay. In the sky for this reading, then again, look at that is the Ace of Swords. And you saw me shuffle and split and you know, stack and do everything with these cards. But the Ace of Swords is telling us here, this is what, it, it, this is the truth. This is justice. These are the rules. This is what you have to do. And this is what we want to aim for. We want to aim for the very highest uh, in, in, in those regards that we can. You know, don't uh, get by. Do it correctly. Do it honestly. And then the, um, the final outcome for this then, just like I look for that hangman, do it correctly. The final outcome for this is the Nine of Swords. And uh, so that's where this, uh, this Yes card can turn into, um, you know, not so great because the Nine of Swords is nightmares. Okay. So even though 
you've done everything right, okay? You've got the power to do it. You've, you've contemplated if you've gone far enough. You've balanced yourself on this road to where you're going. You've looked from every perspective that's possible, and you're aiming for the best true and just result that you can. Sometimes even that can seem like a nightmare. But the one thing you've got to keep in mind is that we're always moving forward, okay? Our life doesn't stop, and we don't get to go back and do it another way. However it comes to us, then we've got to take that point and move forward from that point. So you've done the best you can. It's a big yes card. Keep going in this direction. And it may seem like a nightmare, but there's some reason that you're going this way. There's a reason. And so just trust in that. So if you feel yourself disappointed in, in this decision and the outcome that you, you've gotten to, uh, don't worry about that. Soak up that disappointment, re-examine it, and, and, and then move on from there. Keep going. Okay? So that's the number three. And then if you chose the last card, number four, then you've got, oh, there's this one. So this is the Ten of Swords. This is a definite end of a cycle. It's a hard stop. This farmer can't do anymore. He's just, he cannot uh, do one more lick of work today. He's got to take a break. Okay. And what that means is that it's going to be a new day tomorrow and we start again tomorrow. So let's shuffle these cards up. Let's just split them and then uh, lay them out and see what sort of an answer we get with this Ten of Swords. That's a no card. Let's see if we can turn it around. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay? So we've used these cards up. We've done all we can with them. And we're going to... Look at me. And we're going to um, find out what's the challenge to this Ten of Swords. End of a cycle. Can't go anymore. You know what? Let's just stop and we'll do it, pick, up, pick it up again tomorrow. Uh, the challenge to that is the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is all about the fellow who is in complete uh, control of his worth, of his value. He's on a pedestal, and he's put himself on a pedestal. He's standing there steadfast and letting you know, I'm in control of this, and we're going to do it this way. Okay? So, end of a cycle, challenged by a lot of authority, a lot of confidence. Okay? I've done as well as I can today. And I know I can finish this up tomorrow. Um, the uh, base of this reading is then the ten, another ten, okay, is, is just reinforces, is the ten of wands. And the ten of wands uh, tells us that, that this is a heavy load. This is burdensome, okay? This is what I have to do. I can't uh, do any more. You know, I don't remember the uh, artist uh, for this painting, but I seem to recall that this was uh, in the, in the, the day that this, these, this painting was made, you would only make paintings of really rich people, uh, patrons, or folks who, who other people would know. But this painting was of a prostitute. And so it was very controversial. It was all seen as a pornographic at the time. So, but this is a hard um, uh, bundle to move. This woman uh, knows that her choice to make her life this way was going to be a hard way to make her life, but it's the choice she made, and she got on with it. So the Ten of Wands is understanding that um, this is what we have to do. In the past of this reading is the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles, it's interesting that this is also sort of a ballet scene because this guy has the uh, ballerinas, I hope you can see behind him, the ba ballerinas uh, behind him there. And he's almost like the instructors counting off with his, with his staff. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this uh, Four of uh, Pentacles is telling us, look, this is our worth. Let's pin it on the wall. Let's know where it is. Let's keep our, our eye on it. And then uh, then we can make a decision about where we're going to go from there. And that's how you came into this. You, you looked at what you had. You said, okay, this is what I've got to do. And look, but you got to the end of the cycle and you just couldn't do more. So you have to have the confidence to know that we can finish this again tomorrow. We're going to keep the pace up. Okay. Then the sky of this reading is the uh, King of Wands. So the King of Wands is an action. Okay, he's the fellow who has got the plan firmly in his hand, and he's saying, all right, this is what we're going to do. So that's what you need to aim for. You need to aim for how do we get to completion? How do we get to completion? And the likely outcome of all of this is the, uh, what is, oh, justice. So this is justice. And uh, justice tells us that, um, and you know it's justice because uh, she's got the balancing scales here. She's got the sword of truth in her hand, and, uh, and those are rules. And so justice is telling us that, yeah, 
this is the way that this has to be. This is the only fair way that it can happen. Okay, this is the truest thing that can happen for us. So this no card is just telling you stop, stop, take a break, consider all you're doing, and then we'll pick it up again. And that's how this has to be. Don't fight it. You know, don't fight the forces. Just go with the flow. It's another day tomorrow. So that's what we got for those cards today. If those are what you pick. One, two, three, four. Oracle, you pick. And I hope you got something out of that. So when I started doing these readings, I was uh, hesitant because of my knowledge of the cards. You know, what are they and how will I remember them every time? And then I started buying different decks. And then I said, oh my God, how am I going to interpret all these different decks with these different symbols? And I came to a realization that I need to stop. If I don't understand what I'm doing, I need to look for companionship, which is the guidance books or little cheat sheets that I have. And then I can pick up and go forward. And for the most part, that's what we all have to do. So I hope that these cards were useful for you today. And uh, if they weren't, um, you know, let it rest, stew on it, look at it later, or uh, maybe think of a friend, and uh, you may look at it another day, and it makes more sense to you, or it may never make sense to you at all, let it go, let it go, um, and uh, just continue your journey with truth, and honesty, and doing what you know is right, and everything will work out, it has to, or else you, you'll just stop being, don't do that. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot, tomorrow's another day, stop by, we'll do it again, ciao for now.